If you're looking for a Harbor Freight tailgater generator, you may notice that there are two different item numbers. There's a 63024 and a 63025. Today we're going to take a look at the two different item numbers and see if there are any variations in the manufacture of these generators. Before I get into an unboxing and comparison of the two new tailgater item numbers, I want to cover really fast that I have an extensive history with this Stormcat generator, the predecessor to the new tailgater. They're the exact same generator, just a different paint job. But like the tailgater, there were two different item numbers on these manufactured in two different plants. There are some significant, they're subtle, but significant differences in quality between the two generators that result in one being less prone for failure. That's the 69381. I suspect that these two new tailgater generators are going to have the exact same experience and that's where I'm coming from. I have a link in the description of my series of videos and testing went through multiple generators on these old Stormcats. You may want to give that a look. Now let's get on to comparing the tailgaters side by side to see the variations. Before we open these up, just wanted to show a couple of things about the boxing that kind of tips it off. Okay, this is the new 63024, which is the equivalent, I believe, of the 69381. This is the 63025, the equivalent of the old 60338. Right out of the gate, you'll see that one is taller, but the other is deeper, even though they're in the exact same orientation. And that is because this is put in by, it's a different factory that makes this, and when they put it in, they put the styrofoam in horizontally. You'll see when it opens up. It opens up entirely different. This one, the foam should just pull straight off, and then you can get to the generator. Where on this one, you have to kind of dump it out and separate the foam. So now let's cut to opening them up and notice the subtle differences between the foam orientation when you're taking the generator out. The unboxing showed exactly what I expected. This is just like the 69381. This is just like the 60338, those older model numbers. Even in packaging and the contents of the packaging. Have the generator, this one, the old, or the new 63025, came with the instructions, an oil cup, and your little spark plug wrench packet, and the handle was embedded in the foam. You saw when we unboxed this new one, the 63024, that it has instructions and it has a packet with not only the handle in it and the screws for the handle, but it comes with a little pouch that your spark plug wrench is in. I don't know if you noticed this, that's different even than the 69381. It has a black cap now, but that's unboxing them. Now let's look at them up close and side by side and look at those subtle variations. Just like my old 69381, not only did your handle come in a package, but it also had grommets that the old 60338 and just like this 63025 do not have. So that's further proof. Different manufacturer, different parts. When we compare the tailgaters, let's look at the model that is the new 69381. And that's this 63024. See right away that it has the thick lip, just like the 69381. It has grommets. I haven't installed this, but it has grommets, just like the 69381, not present on the other models. It also has this tapered pull handle, where the others have a squared blockier pull handle. And I'm going to turn these, and this little side housing should also be better manufactured. Yes, it is thicker on both models than the other one. We'll see that in just a second. Definitely better manufactured, cleaner lines, and thicker. Okay, here we go side by side, and you can see the lip I was talking about on this tank. One is more protruding, one is more tapered, and this is just like the old, the old two, I'm not gonna keep repeating those numbers, but this is just like the two old item numbers. The two five here, the stickers are kind of glossy and feel just a little thinner. Over here, they're flat and they feel a little thicker. Now, these stickers feel about the same. 
but this is just like the old ones, even on the top. The two top stickers were down in these grooves on the old 60338, 69381. They were up on the top just like this. So this leads me to believe that these are the exact same two separate manufacturers of the old two lot numbers. And again, if you watch my videos, you really probably want to avoid this new 63025 if you can get the 63024. It's not to say you can't get a good one. But the odds of getting good, a good one are better with this 63025 item number. Let's look at a couple other differences here. Obviously, the cap is black on this one and uh, kind of fits the profile of the other one. Let's look inside and see if there's any overspray. Okay, now our measuring cup, remember, it came in a little baggie for this one. It's down in here on this other one. And we don't have, we have the old style strainer. This is like the old mesh strainer. It doesn't have that little red depth indicator. But down in the tank, let me get my flashlight. Down in the tank, there is no overspray on this one either. So that's just something across the board that they changed. So that's good on both of them. Now that's not saying that this isn't better than the 60338. Because it probably is uh, in some ways. Obviously it doesn't have over overspray. But I'm just saying the quality of the parts and the manufacturer from this plant will be better. So look for that 63025. Let's turn them and look at those fan housings. Start out with these fan housings. You can see the rough edges all over this, little sharp points, especially like right in through there. Just not as well manufactured and it's got kind of a sheen to it. The 63024, much cleaner edges, kind of a more flat silver look and just better manufactured. The spark plug story is exactly the same as the old model numbers on um, this one. This is the 63025. It has an F5 TC plug and this small super flimsy little plug boot and no insulation covering or shielding on the cable. Look at the 63024 just like the 69381. A thicker, still not, I replaced these on my personal ones, but thicker, it goes down further. We have an F7 TC plug, and we have some shielding insulation here on our spark plug cable. Remember, I talked about those pull start handles. Shrouds look the same, but those pull start handles, look, this is square. This has a smaller, more tapered profile. Again, just like the two old model numbers. That's going to be it on the side-by-side -side comparison. This should give you some information. Hopefully it'll help you out. Personally, I recommend you go with the 63024 if you're going to buy one of these. Again, not to say that the 63025 is going to fail on you, but based on my previous experience, and again, in the description you'll see my old playlist, extensive experience with the factory that made this one and they are de very definitely more prone to failure than the factory that makes this one. Take it for what it's worth. I just wanted to share this information. I hope it helps someone out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.